Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheyenne and every week I post makeup tutorials and reviews for you guys. This week I'm doing a little something different and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the four tips I really wish I knew before starting my beauty channel. And if you're starting your very own beauty channel, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. That way you can be alerted when I post new videos on tips and tricks for your beauty channel. So one of the first things I really wish somebody would have told me when I first started my channel is that YouTube is not a race, that it is a marathon, and you are only in competition with yourself. So take your first 100 videos to grow your confidence and your on-screen presence and not your subscriber count. I think I'm at video 56 and I still have a lot of growth to do as a content creator. But going back, once I hit my 50 video count, I went back to my very first video that I ever posted and I ever made, and the amount of growth that I have done and the amount of confidence that I have grown within those first 50 videos is insane. I didn't even realize it. So really take the first 100 videos that you're making to grow as a content creator. Don't worry about your subscribers. Don't stress out about your views. You're eventually gonna get there. Don't expect to blow up overnight. If it happens, congratulations. But if it doesn't, it's okay. Equipment, that is such a big one that a lot of people really focus on. They really want to spend as much money as possible on the best camera, the best lighting, all of the techie fun stuff of content creating. I have been filming with a Sony A5100 camera. It is okay, it has great quality. It shoots in 4K, but it overheats. And it makes the process so much longer, and I cannot wait to get a new camera. But it's not a necessity. I can hold off and I can wait until later on. I don't need to spend a grand, 900, whatever, however much the cameras are, I don't need to spend that right now. And neither do you. You can film off of your camera on your phone or any camcorder that you have at home. I do all of my live streams with a Logitech webcam and I love it. And all of my subscribers that come in for my live streams, they don't complain about uh, bad quality or anything like that. They enjoy the live streams. It's more about what you're creating than high definition quality. I would say if you are going to invest in anything as a beauty channel, invest in a ring light. The one that I use is a newer ring light. I'll have that linked in the description down below. And just so you know, if you do click any of the links down below, they are affiliate links, so I will get a small commission from your purchase. The newer ring light though, I've had this for two or three years. It cost $120. And I bought it for when I was doing freelance hair and makeup, which I still am. I purchased it so I could have great, high quality, well-lit pictures for my Instagram. The editing software that I'm using now is Adobe Premiere Pro. I pay a monthly subscription for it, but when I first started in my channel, I was using whatever came on Windows 10 and it worked fine. But as my channel started growing, and I started growing as a t content creator, I wanted to get more creative with my editing, so I decided to invest in the Adobe Premiere Pro, and I actually really enjoy it, and I love it, and I definitely think it's made a huge difference in my video. It is not a necessity though, you guys. If you do wanna try it out, they do have a free trial, so try out the free trial, see if it's something that you would really want to invest in, or if you'd rather do the free software. There is plenty of free software out there to edit your videos. Another reason I'm saying do not invest so much money into your channel just yet is because you don't know how much you're going to like content creating or dislike content creating. It is a lot of work. For a 10 minute video, I spend maybe about an hour recording and then another two to four hours editing and then another hour doing keyword research and uploading to YouTube and making sure all my tags, my titles, and everything is set. What you can do is you can set yourself a goal. 
So say once you hit your first 100 subscribers, then you can buy that ring light that you want or you can get that editing software that you want. But definitely set goals for yourself. That way you hold yourself accountable and you can reward yourself once you hit those goals because those goals are an amazing feeling and I can't wait until you guys start hitting those goals. And if you are watching this right now and you just hit a goal, please leave a comment down below what goal you hit, whether it's 20 subscribers or 100 views. And if you haven't hit a goal yet or even created your channel, let me know what your goals for the rest of 2020 are. There is a web extension that I would definitely 100% recommend for you guys to really amp up your video's ability to be seen and ranked in search. And it is called TubeBuddy. If you're not familiar with it, so many videos on YouTube on how to use it, but I'll give you a quick breakdown towards the end of the video. And if you guys do decide to try it out, if you have less than 1,000 subscribers, you do get half off, which makes it, I believe, around like four dollars, I believe it is. And I will have my affiliate link for TubeBuddy down below in the description. And if you do decide to click on the link and sign up for the pro account, I do get a small commission from your click. Definitely wait until the end of the video though, because you will see some more features from TubeBuddy. The next big piece of advice that I have for you guys is sharing. So, what I mean by that is you want to share with your friends and your family. I know that is so scary. I was terrified to do it at first, but it is so worth it. It's very natural to have a lot of self-doubt and a lot of self-criticism and to think that people are not going to support you. You'll be surprised though by how many people are continuously supportive in your life, even if it's people that you don't see consistently. But you will see some people consistently leave comments and likes. Just share your videos with those people and you'll be surprised at how much they'll share and love your content. Also, join Facebook groups or Reddit groups. There's plenty of beauty groups on Facebook and a lot of them do allow for you to share YouTube channels. I would definitely read all of the rules on the Facebook groups or the Reddit forums and make sure that you are allowed to actually share your channel or your videos. That way you don't get banned from the groups. You want to respect those boundaries of those Facebook groups or those online groups. Niching down is one of the hardest things to do on YouTube. And that really means is picking an overall idea for your channel. So since we're talking about growing a beauty channel, we're going to stick to that overall idea for the channel. So we have our beauty channel, but how can we break down the beauty channel a little bit more? So for me, I do a lot of eye looks. So that is one of my niches is eyeshadow looks, how to get better eyeshadow looks or how to do different eyeshadow looks or what eyeshadow palettes work for this look or that look. Another one of the niches that I like to break down is reviews. So I will do reviews on new palettes, new makeup items, different things that I've purchased. I also have a niche where I focus on hauls. So I'll do like a makeup haul or a clothing haul or a hair care haul. I break down those niches into playlists. That way they're easy to find on your channel. That way if somebody comes onto your channel, you can see each playlist broken down. And actually real quick, let's clip away to look at my channel and see how I have that broken down. All right, you guys. So here is my channel. So you can see I have a nice cohesive color scheme for my channel, which is the black and the pinks. You can see that in my thumbnails as well. And then this right here, if you do not have all of this on your channel, this is going to be my TubeBuddy extension. And it's going to show you my lifetime views, my views in the last 90 days, or I'm sorry, 30 days, and how many videos I've posted since I have started my channel and in the last 30 days. And then it breaks it down a little bit more right here. And we'll get into this a little bit more. So when we scroll down, I have my playlist. So I have my upload playlist, which you can see all right here. These are my most recent uploads. Everything in black is just gonna be my regular videos. And the thumbnails that are in pink are going to be all of my live streams. 
So I like to have it like that. That way when people are on my channel, they can kind of see and see from a visual standpoint what's different. So you can see that it's streamed right here one week ago, streamed one week ago, and then the ones that are in black won't have that. Next I have my makeup tutorial playlist. So this is going to be my basic makeup tutorials, my beginner makeup tutorials. All of those are going to be right here. And then since Halloween is around the corner, I have my Sinister Sunday special effects. And as you can see, I need to go back and change some of the thumbnails. That way everything is nice and cohesive and looks all together and very branded. And that is another thing that you really want to focus on on your channel is branding and how it looks. You can also go into playlists and I'll have all of your playlists down here. I have my... Hello you guys Three and welcome back to my channel today. Oh, I am actually going to be doing... I have my three playlists that I really want to focus on getting views and subscribers from on my homepage. And so the next thing that we want to really look at is our TubeBuddy extension. So we're going to click over here to TubeBuddy and see kind of what this is. So we have our dashboard and let's see the one thing i really want to show you guys is seo studio so you can go in here and kind of type in your target keyword so say our target keyword let's see if we're doing a makeup haul we can type in makeup haul let's do 2020 and press start so it'll actually tell you that the score for this is going to be 62%. So it'll actually help you build your title and description. So it'll say include your tar target keyword in title, which we did. Include 80% of your target keyword in the title. Yes. Include your target keyword in the first 60 characters. Yes. Include your target keyword naturally in the title. So we can type in Let's say my Ulta Makeup Haul 2020, and you can see how that already like increased my score. So this SEO is going to be search engine optimization. So the higher the score, the more likely your video is going to be found when it is in search. Include partial matches of your target keyword in the description. So you just write out a very natural des description. So we can put in this makeup haul in September 2020. We go over the hottest and trendiest makeup items. And then you can see j just by doing that, I've already increased my score to 95%. Click next. Beauty haul. And really when you're doing all of these haul these tags you really want to reach 500 tags let's say we've already done that we're going to go to next and then you would upload a thumbnail and we are just going to go in and upload our random thumbnail and then you can see right here how it would look next to all of the other videos so this way it helps you know what's going to make your thumbnail stand out compared to the rest of them. All right, you guys, I really hope that this video was helpful and there was some tricks in here that really could help you out on your channel. I wish you guys the best of luck on your new channel if you're just starting out. And definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. That way you guys can get more tips and tricks from me. All right, I'll see you guys next week.